we think back to where we were at a couple years ago and we question ourselves of how did we ever do this job before we had this system because it has made our life simpler it's made us respond faster and it's even made things safer for us because we're giving accurate descriptions of locations of where we're working or maybe where our officers need to be. Huge lifesaver. That map overlay, that's uh, one of the biggest helps that we have here, especially in a pursuit because we don't have to think about where we're going. I've had several pursuits where I've had to use the house numbers. We turn left at, at uh, house number 154 on County Road 3000. All our patrol units know exactly where that's at, they get straight to it. There'll be dirt roads out there that you wouldn't know that they had names, but they do have names. And uh, that allows us to direct uh, ground troops onto the, uh, the target house or target uh, area without having to refer to map books. Uh, which clutters up the cockpit and it uh, takes more time than it does just to punch in an address and have it pop up on the screen. So it's been a really effective system for us. We love it. We, we'd love to have more of them. I've never had an issue where I couldn't find the information I needed on that mapping system. It gives you the distance to the target, it gives you your heading, the relative heading, and uh, it keeps our workload to a minimum. We can concentrate on getting the camera on scene, we can concentrate on other things other than have to continuously fly and find the directions that we, that we need to be finding to get to the scene. Once we're up to altitude, um, in the area of the target, we have you know follow cars, of course, and we'll pan out just a little bit so we can see the streets ahead of the vehicle, and we'll just advise them of the direction of travel, the lane of traffic that they're in, and the upcoming intersection. Um, and you know the area of the ARS, we can just see um, the addresses, uh, businesses even um, as for landmarks and intersections um, that they're passing and approaching that we can relay to our follow cars so they can get set up. three ARS mapping systems installed in various aircraft, a 182, a 206, and a Bell 407. Installation's fairly simple, it's straightforward. Wiring's fairly simple and straightforward. Technical support's awesome. When we're around uh, Metro Patrol, where we're over the city, and they'll give an address of a call, and uh, we'll go to find to punch in the address and bring it up, and that gives us an immediate direction and range of where that house is that we're looking for so we can go to that call, whatever it may be. One of the things that the fire department had us do the day after the initial fire was suppressed, uh, we flew and did video reconnaissance uh, using thermal imaging for the fire department so they could look at hot spots that might be there that could potentially flare up. So we'll, uh, we'll work with the fire departments from that aspect of things. Uh, we assist federal agencies. We, we've worked with the FBI, DEA uh, for surveillance purposes for them. So any, any of that, we now use the system. The system's incorporated into, into what we do with them. You can transfer from video. You can go to a split screen. It kind of gives you your, your Google map, for lack of better, but we still have the capability of utilizing our camera, and, and they all coincide with each other. Well in advance of arriving on scene, I can see what the layout of the particular uh, 
uh, house or apartment complex is, and I can set up my approach accordingly uh, in order to, uh, to fulfill whatever mission we've been sent on. If somebody's lost out hiking in the mountains and they have their cell phone with them, okay? The, they ping their cell phone, they get an exact lat long of, of where this person is, now they can call us and they can give it to us if we're up flying. We can just punch the lat long in just as easy as we punch the street address in, just under a different menu. Um, and it brings us to an exact lat long of, you know, of, of where that individual was. Airs was designed uh, for use by first responders. And uh, in some instances, it may be uh, folks that are involved in firefighting efforts. But uh, very frequently, it's law enforcement. And our law enforcement customers typically break down into one of two different categories. That would be patrol operations, where they're typically flying uh, rotor wing aircraft at uh, relatively low altitudes. But then the other category of customers is typically involved in surveillance applications. Frequently, these are uh, federal customers. Uh, folks that we have using ARS include uh, the FBI, uh, Drug Enforcement Administration, up in Canada, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police and in the UK, the Ministry of Defense. Many times uh, they're in fixed wings. We're flying at very high altitude. Um, you know, generally speaking, uh, 10,000 might be the floor on a lot of these types of missions, and uh, very frequently flying uh, higher than that. Because it's a fixed wing aircraft, uh, there's typically more space available, uh, and also because they're uh, conducting missions which uh, may last uh, quite a few hours, um, they're using larger aircraft.